In the last video, we had uh, created a change or made a change in the part and uh, updated it into the strip. And as you can see, one, uh, we have some cuts that are not uh, being made properly, and that is because we created new geometry in the part which the punches have not updated to. And that's also why we have errors in the tree right here. We just need to get that new geometry into these punches. So I'll select create a strip layout. I'll click on this punch and edit it. And I'm just going to simply select this punch and delete the old sketch entities and then create a new triangle, a rectangle I should say. and search punch outline and it will reconvert automatically convert the new geometry into the punch and then I simply have to delete this geometry that I don't need drag this over and then also I'll just drag this and this and trim it punch is done exit out of the sketch and that punch updates next I'll update this punch select it edit don't worry about the errors in the tree once we get the punches updated the that will get corrected so next I will um, take and delete this geometry that lost its relations Delete this one and it's telling me that it's going to delete this dimension right here, which is fine. And what I'm going to do is I'll convert this line, which is going down the center of the strip, and I'll convert it as construction geometry and read dimension to that. Then I am going to draw in a line from here down to here and then draw a line from here up to here got an enclosed shape and I'll use search the punch out line again and I am going to trim that and that away extend lines and trim there we go that's our new geometry exit the sketch and the punch will update oh looks like if the punch is outlined in blue that means the, the sketch is under defined so I'm gonna go back in there to take a look at what happened ah right here just have to delete this From that I probably have the same thing going on in this side just didn't trim properly that looks better exit out of the sketch now it's not outlined in blue anymore it's fully defined and now I just simply have to apply the cut it's asking me do you really want to do this even though there's errors in the strip yes because that's going to correct those errors There we go. You can see there's no error, error message at the top here. And now I will just simply click OK. And yes, I want to update my information note. We can also see that all those little slugs that were left behind are now corrected because we have the punch geometry updated. So I will leave everything checked and say yes. We'll update the strip information and rejoin the strip with the new geometry. There we 
go. And uh, one last thing, if I take a look, look at this, all these notes are going into each other. Well, we can change how they're orientated by going into force center part and edit the text locating sketch. And we have a rotational or angular value that I'm gonna change this to say 300 degrees. Oop, not 30, 300. And when I exit out of the sketch, okay, now they're coming off at an angle. They're not running into each other, but they're up here. So I'll just edit the text sketch again. And this, I will drag this down to about there, I'd say. And I just need to move it down a little bit more. Something like that. There. So now everything's not jumbled into each other. Get out of editing that part. And our strip is complete.